So you're planning to sell your house, but do you know the price at which you won't lose any money? It's a common dilemma for homeowners, fraught with the complex calculations of the don't lose money price. This figure is no simple sum. It's a cocktail of your mortgage balance, interest, second mortgages, closing costs, and potential taxes. It's a puzzle that can leave many scratching their heads in confusion. Not knowing this critical number can lead to financial loss. But don't worry, we're here to guide you. Meet Jane, a homeowner just like you, who's about to sell her property. Jane's first step in determining her don't lose money price is to look at her mortgage balance. This is the amount she still owes on her home. Next, she factors in the interest that's accumulated on her mortgage. She doesn't forget to include any second mortgages or home equity loans she might have taken out. Once Jane has a handle on her outstanding debt, she turns her attention to the closing costs associated with selling a property. These are fees paid at the end of a real estate transaction and can include everything from legal fees to realtor commissions. Lastly, Jane needs to consider potential taxes. Depending on where she lives, she could be on the hook for capital gains tax if she makes a profit from the sale of her home. By adding all these elements together, Jane can calculate her don't lose money price. And there you have it, Jane now knows her don't lose money price. Now that you've seen how Jane did it, it's your turn. It's time to roll up your sleeves and calculate your own don't lose money price. Remember, this isn't just a number, it's your financial safety net when selling your property. By carefully adding up your mortgage balance, interest, any second mortgages, closing costs, and potential taxes, you'll have a clear understanding of what you need to sell your home for. Remember, knowledge is power. Arm yourself with your don't lose money price before stepping into the world of real estate sales.